Hello. I just went into PetSmart and I exchanged some pajamas for Olive because she was too big for the other ones I got, but look at this. Santa paws, it says it over on the, the butt and then this is the top, but cute little PJs because she's been getting really cold at night when she sleeps. And I got her one of these the last time I was there and she loves it. It's in a million pieces. I decided it does a little. <laughs> so I decided to get her another one. We're going to be going on a business trip for Brad. It's like a office party thing, like a Christmas party. And I'm going to be spending some time with my dad and his wife while we're there. And we're going to have to put our pets in boarding, which I hate doing. <laughs> I just wish I could take them with me everywhere. But I thought it might be nice since she loves that thing so much. I thought, what if I give her a new one as we go to leave? Kind of help with the transition of us being gone because she's never been boarded before. The cats have, so, you know, they kind of know what's going on, but um, I'm a little bit worried that she's going to think that she's going back to the pound or something. So, I just want to try to give her something that makes her think of home and makes her feel comfortable and happy and all that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> that's my little plan. Um, and then I got this for the cats. So today I'm going to Mahjong um, to play with my friends, to play the game Mahjong. And then um, I'm going to be leaving a little bit early to go get Brad from the airport. I just dropped him off at the airport. He's got um, a day trip that he has to do. He's got to go do a meeting with, with somebody. So, And then tomorrow I'm going to be going to JCPenney to try to find a pair of shoes for my dress and a jacket. Then I'm going to go to the grocery store, get all of our Thanksgiving food, figure a week before is probably about where it needs to be to get everything that I need and still have it be fresh. Today's the day that we leave to go to Seattle, and um, I'm taking Olive to her vet so that she can stay there with them. Supposedly, she's going to have her own climate-controlled run, <laughs> and we're paying a little extra for her to um, get an hour of playtime a day and that kind of stuff. So hopefully, hopefully she's okay. I think. My anxiety is really high about this. I'm just so worried. <laughs> Are you excited? You gonna make some new friends? Even though you hate other dogs. Uh, but maybe she'll make friends with the people that work at the vet. Ooh, there's some bright sun right there. We are in the car on the way home. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Brad's driving, if you hadn't noticed. We don't have a hands-free car, so. So I didn't vlog a whole lot of our trip, but I will insert what I did film. We had a good time, and as 
because any time that we go out of town, we are so happy that we're home, though. I don't know what that is. <laughs> our own bed, our own pillow, our own bathroom, our own uh, cycle, our own stuff. Just back to life, yeah. Routines. Yeah. I miss you, Xbox. He, Brad misses his Xbox. I miss everything about our home and our life. <laughs> I really do miss our pets, too. That's going to be weird. When we get home, everybody is still at their vet. Prison. Yeah, their little personal prison. Um, I, I called to check in on them to see how they're doing. And today is Sunday. Everybody is closed on Sunday. So I didn't even get to hear how they're doing. And... You get Olive first thing in the morning. Yep, I pick up Olive first thing in the morning, and then Marty and Zelda I'm picking up in the afternoon, quite a bit later, because Marty is due for a tooth cleaning, so they are doing his um, teeth. Right, well, they're doing his annual comprehensive exam, and then they're also cleaning his teeth, and they have to put him to sleep for that. Scrubbing his nasty mouth. Yeah. Apparently, Marty has not been fun to take care of. He has been hissing and trying to scratch them, and I don't, I don't have any updates for what has happened since then. So I don't know if he came around at all. But apparently, he was very upset at being there, which is weird because three years ago when we did this trip, he was fine when we were gone. So. Olive would be the problem child and they love her. Yeah, they love Olive. She's wonderful. <laughs> we keep getting all these pictures of her playing and they keep telling us, oh, she's doing so good. We're having so much fun with her. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I wasn't expecting Marty to be the one that was a problem child because he hasn't been in the past. But <laughs> there's a first for everything, right? Um, but yeah, you know, it, one thing I've noticed being on vacation, there's never enough water or beverages in hotels. Like you almost have to get like a whole pack of bottled water when you get there and keep it in the fridge to stay hydrated. And so after being out of town for a week, I am feeling super dehydrated. I want to get back to my meal plan because we've been eating at restaurants this whole time. Oh, awful diet. I don't feel good because I haven't been eating right. And I only went down to the gym to exercise one time, which you will see on the blog. I did a little short video of that, but it's it's just, I'm, I'm happy to be home. And, and Brad's really happy That's to be left, home. left, honey. Yeah, I know. Go to the left. Right. Oh, did I? I thought you meant one side of the street is the exit on. Well, I knew that. Oh, well, fine. Yeah, I should ask where, where do I turn off the exit? Do you see what I put up with? <laughs> this is a lot, you guys. Oh, power slide. Hold on. <laughs> Beating the light. Brad's been driving a truck, this big, what, F-150 truck? Oh, uh, crew cab. Yeah, this whole Extended time. Bed. In the snow and ice. And so now that we're back in our Elantra, it's <laughs> he's More having difference. fun driving it. We're going to go stop and get some fast food for dinner and then start back on our meal plan tomorrow. tomorrow. And Allegedly. maybe do like colon cleanses and all kinds of stuff just to get all the nastiness out of our body. But, um, but I just wanted to let you know that we're home and um, it's going to be over here on the right hand side. I'm like right left I don't know I just got off a plane oh on the plane Brad watched Men in Black 3, three. in case you were curious and I watched Julie and Julia I wasn't able to finish the whole movie because apparently they hauled ass home because the flight was delayed and I didn't have the full two hours to watch the movie so I'll have to finish it at home but I did not read on the plane it was dark and I thought that'd be rude to have the light on the whole time people around me and stuff <sighs> We're so happy to be home. Back to our bed. Back to our shower. I love our shower. I love our toilet. Oh, okay. I love I love our house. Can't wait to take a shower with real pressure. 
Yeah, the pressure was really bad out so, there. But know. that's the other thing. Washington State is so different from Vegas. Um, <laughs> they, yeah, their, their shower heads and hotels are like trickles. Everything is just so different. So I'm just happy to be home. This is my home. <laughs> I was asked about five different times if I've ever, if I ever considered moving back to Seattle, and the answer is no, no. <laughs> no. This is my home. Anyway, I am going to start the vlog now. Good morning. It's Wednesday. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I'm in a hotel room. Um, there is snow outside in Washington State. Sort of. Looks like a lot of the snow melted away, but it was, as you saw in the video, it was snowing last night. We flew out here on Monday. I dropped all of off at the vet. Then I went back home, finished up packing, because we usually pack a day or two before we travel, but on day of, we pack our laptops and our chargers and toiletries and stuff that we can't really pack ahead of time. And then Brad and I went and dropped off the cats. They stay at different places. So, um, I felt really bad because Marty looked petrified and I thought, oh my God, I feel so bad. What am I going to, like, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. He looks so scared. So we went to the airport. We had lunch. We both had a drink because we like to have a drink or two before we fly because no, flying's not fun. Might as well relax a little bit. And on the plane, I read a little bit of my book. Not a whole lot, though, because I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't really like flying. Um, and I get kind of funny on planes. And sometimes I want to read, sometimes I don't. Um, so I ended up watching The Family Stone um, on my phone. And then I got one of my earaches. I get these awful earaches whenever I fly. I had a bunch of ear infections as a kid. I don't know if it did some kind of damage to my ears or what, but I get the worst ear pain when I fly. It starts with a migraine, and then about 20 minutes later, the ear pain hits, and it like shoots in all directions in both ears. It's awful. And my ears still hurt, and it's been two days. I have eardrops with me that are naturopathic eardrops. I find those work the best, but... They're not doing a lot right now, but I've been taking ibuprofen and everything, but when it happens, it's so painful. Usually I'll start crying. It hurts so bad. And I'm not like the type that cries when I'm in pain. I'm usually pretty good at hiding my pain, but oh, it just, it's so sharp. And so I told Brad, my Eric just hit and he pulls out this bag of M&Ms and says, here, honey. And I said, well, what's this? And he said, I got these for you. I brought them along because I figured if your earache started hurting, the best thing you can do is start chewing. Maybe that would make you feel better. And I, he put his arm around me and I just thought, that's so sweet that he knew that was going to happen because it happens every time I fly. And he prepared for it. And it just made me feel really loved and cared about, you know. We went out to dinner with my dad. We had Mexican food and we got to the hotel. We went to bed. Then yesterday was my dad's birthday. Oh, I forgot to mention Monday was actually our anniversary, our 11 year anniversary. So we, um, 
we won't be celebrating till after we get home. We just decided, I, I've kind of got to this point, I guess it's with age and maturity. I don't care about celebrating things on that day anymore. I just want to kind of go with the flow. If things don't happen the way that I want them to or the way I expect them to, I'm trying to let that go. I I don't feel like things have to be in a neat little box as much anymore. Um, so we're going to celebrate when we get home, our anniversary. And some years we haven't even done anything for our anniversary. It just has to do with if we feel like we can afford it. And if we feel like we want to, then we go do stuff. And we do have reservations to go to a really nice dinner when we get home. Last night was my dad's birthday. We went to a restaurant on the water. It's a seafood place. And my brother showed up and it was really nice to see him again. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. And um, the one thing that I didn't like though, I didn't really get a chance to talk to him a whole lot. We did, we weren't sitting next to each other and he was a little ways away. So I'll probably try to do a video chat with him sooner or something so that we can talk a little bit more. <laughs> it's nice to spend time with family. It seems like everybody's doing really well. I didn't bring any jeans or casual clothes. It's like I thought I was just going to be in the hotel room in my pajamas the whole time and then going out to dinner a couple nights while I was here. That's basically how I packed. And I didn't bring a beanie hat either. So I went and got a beanie hat yesterday while I was out with my stepmom. And then today, Brad, before we go spend time with my dad and stepmom again, Brad's gonna take me to Walmart or something and I'm gonna get some jeans and a, sweater, a sweatshirt or something because I don't really wanna wear slacks everywhere I go. I don't find them very comfortable for some reason. I'm just not a slacks person. So I wasn't thinking clearly, I guess, when I packed. I was trying to bring as little as possible. morning. Um, I've been here, I don't even know how many days now. It's Friday. Tonight is the big office party. Sorry, I'm holding you with my hand. I didn't bring a tripod because I didn't. <laughs> so Brad is going to be coming up here to pick me up any minute. He did a little bit of work this morning. Um, I got a little shot of some snow. It's snowing outside. So it's just this nice, peaceful morning. We're going to be driving up to stay in a different hotel. Everybody that works with Brad is staying in a certain hotel tonight and going to the office party. So we'll, we will be leaving and going there and then coming back to this hotel tomorrow night um, and then staying here again until we leave. <laughs> I got my nails done last night. 
um, my stepmom took me to a spot and we had our nails done and it was so wonderful. It was luxurious and amazing. Um, what is this called? Shellac, I think. So it's like not coming off anytime soon. And I love it. Look at this pretty dark green color. We got to the spa and they put, uh, what was it? It was like a sugar oil treatment that she, the lady massaged into my arms and then she put these hot, wet towels and she wrapped them around my arms and it felt so good. It felt like sliding into a hot tub. And then after they cooled off, she rubbed in the sugar and then to exfoliate. Then I had a paraffin dip on both of my hands. It was just so luxurious and such a nice treat. Because usually if I do go get my nails done, I don't do all that, right? I just have them paint my nails or put acrylics on or something like that. So this was so nice. It was so wonderful. And then we went and picked up Panera bread and brought it back to my dad's house. And that was just delicious. I love Panera bread. Have you had Panera bread? I hope you have because you're missing out if you haven't. I, so I, in case you're curious, I had tomato soup and the goddess Cobb salad and then we had decided to get dessert, so I got, it's like, a, it's like a Cinnabon, Cinnabon, but their version of it, and it was so good. It had cream cheese filling on it. So, I mean, if you're looking to eat something that you shouldn't, that is a really good item to pick because it was so delicious. <laughs> and then we just sat around and we had some good conversation and we came back to the hotel um, Christmas vacation was on the TV here and I fell asleep really early last night. I was planning on staying up and talking to Brad and I just couldn't stay awake. I was so tired. And then last night was one of those weird nights where I just had these weird dreams and I woke up really cranky. So I had my little complain fest and then took a shower and felt a lot better. <laughs> what is that? Do you do that? I want to say it's because I'm traveling and I'm away from home and I miss my pets, but I don't think that's what it is because I do this at home too every once in a while. Not every day, not every week, but I sometimes I just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm the biggest jerk you ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I don't know what to do about that. But anyway, so I've got this little, in case you're curious, I got this little tank top on and I'm about to put this sweater on over it. So nobody will see the tank top, but <sighs> I filmed a video that I was going to post while I was up here and my, I don't know what's going on. My laptop is just done. It does not want to be with me anymore. And it won't work. It won't work for work. It won't work for YouTube. It's just being a beast. And I've got to figure something else out. But until I can get home and get to my regular computer, I'm not going to be able to post anything. So the video that I filmed to show you guys what I'd be wearing out here, that'll have to wait until I get home. And then obviously this video will wait till I get home. But <laughs> what did you end up doing for Thanksgiving? Let me know.
to Las Vegas, where the local time is 7.14 in the evening. Please keep your seatbelts on. Our pilots will turn off the seatbelt sign when it's safe to get up.